In this video, we study type of a frequency distribution that is binomial distribution with some prerequisites, some theory, and with the help of example, we illustrate it. So let's go with the example. Before going for the example, first of all, we understand when we are using a binomial. So whenever there is only two outcome, we use a binomial distribution. So for example, if we toss the coin, we get either head or tail. So these are only the two outcome. So in a such a case, we use a binomial distribution. Suppose n independent trials are performed. Each trial result in a success with a probability p. Then obviously the probability of failure q is equal to 1 minus p. So the probability of getting r success is ncr p raised to r q raised to n minus r mean is equal to np variance is equal to npq and standard deviation sd is equal to square root of npq so these are the basic thing we required to solve the binomial theorem example of a binomial theorem now we start with the example question is an average box containing 10 articles is likely to have a two defective if we consider a consignment of 100 boxes, how many of them are expected to have 3 or less refractive? This question is asked in a M3 question paper, Civil Engineering, June 2016-2015 pattern in Pune University. Now first of all we underline the keywords. So there are 10 articles, so n is equal to 10. Out of these two are defective, so the probability p is equal to 2 by 10. So from this we can calculate the q. So we get n is equal to 10, probability 2 by 10, 2 is defective out of 10, so 0 0.2, q is equal to 1 minus p, that is 0 0.8. Now we use a binomial distribution to calculate the probability. p of r is equal to ncr p raised to r, q raised to n minus r. Now we want to calculate how many of them are expected to have 3 or less defective means we want to calculate the probability for r is less than or equal to 3 that is for 0, for 1, for 2 and for 3. So let's start with 1 by 1. So probability of 0 plus probability of 1 plus probability of 2 plus probability of 3. So by substituting the value of n, r, p and q we get so we get 10 C0 P raised to 0 Q raised to 10, 10 C1 P raised to 1 Q raised to 9, 10 C2 P raised to 2 Q raised to 8, 10 C3 P raised to 3 Q raised to 7. So put the value P equal to 0 0.2 Q equal to 0 0.8. So we get 0 0.1073 is a value for probability of 0, probability of 1 is 0 0.268, probability of 2 is 0 0.3019, and the probability of 3 is 0 0.2013 so the total probability is 0 0.8791 but we have to calculate expected box having a 3 or less defective out of the 100 so that can be calculated by 0 0.8791 into 100 so we get 87.91 approximately 88 boxes containing less than or equal to 3 defective. Thank you. Thank you. Visit again. Do your best.